Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Mouthful of Cavities by Blind, Blind Melon. And we're going to start off with, with kind of our intro progression, actually. They're kind of, kind of get to some of the licks. And we start off on an E minor chord. And we play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. That sounds really sad. Now, you may also want to think about adding in the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third. Seven idea of the E minor. And then from the E minor, we go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger goes to B on the first fret, the second finger on the D second fret, and the third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. Now, while you're on C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that a C major seven. Or you can add in the pinky on the B string third for a C major nine. Actually, it's a little bit talk about around that C major 9. Um, or another way to play C major 9 is you can do first finger on the D second, the second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. So you kind of dig on that C major 9, you can kind of work that too. And then from the C harmonically, although not necessarily always, um, we kind of go to a D major chord. And then we play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, third finger on the B string, third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, on D chords in general, you may want to lift off two and kind of make that a D sus two, or you could add in the pinky on the high E third and kind of make that a, that a D sus, and kind of say some things around D chords. And on the intro part, actually, it's really cool. We, we kind of have a lot of, of really cool licks that kind of work through that, that intro verse chorus. Kind of that E minor idea to our C, and then you'll kind of hear this cool little lick where you can do the open B string to as a hammer on, kind of on the B string, um, kind of the third fret. So I'm kind of playing the open B, kind of putting down my pinky actually to kind of carry the sound of that note. And then you'll hear a pull off from that note, kind of third fret on the B, kind of working it as a pull off back to the open D. And then from there you'll hear this cool little lick where you can play third fret on the G string, and then second fret on the G string. So kind of around those chords, you got kind of a E minor, C, O, 3, 3, O, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, O. And then we almost kind of start that over again, kind of that E minor, C. And you hear this cool little change actually where, where the C chord almost gets slid into the D major chord. And what you could do is kind of take the C major chord and just slide it over two frets. So now you got first finger on the B third. Second finger on the D fourth, third finger on the A fifth fret, kind of C shape. Now it's really a D chord. Um, so, so you hear that cool little slide actually, kind of doing the C, sliding into that D. And then you hear this cool little thirds lick where you could kind of take fifth fret on the G and the B string and kind of play those two notes and then slide them to seventh frets together. So it's a little double stop lick, kind of playing two notes at the same time from a C and an E note to a D and an F sharp note. So it's kind of the C, D sharp, and then we kind of do that again, and then we kind of end up back on our five. So through that whole part with the, the licks, you got kind of the minor, C, O, 3, 3, O, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, O, E minor, C, C slide, D, and then five, seven, seven. Or you could use a strum pattern. A little different strumming options you may want to kind of play around with through through the tune. You know, you'll kind of hear, uh, but you could work it as just kind of a down idea if you're just starting out. That might be a cool way to kind of approach it. Kind of E minor, C, D. I'm kind of doing kind of a four down on the E minor, four on the C, and then kind of an eight count on the D. E minor. for a 4-4 four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, 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 down,
minor and C don't last as long. So you want to do just a down, down up on each of those chords, and then do your D with the whole pattern. tapping your foot to the B, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. Kind of a one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there's some really cool variations here, but one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. What I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, that's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down. is do the E minor with the down, 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 up, C with the down, 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 up, and then the D with the whole pattern. I'm big on that very cool way to kind of introduce the sixteenth. Down, down, up, C, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, down, down, up, D minor, down, down, up, C, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, D minor, down, down, up, C, cool and, and especially through, through different parts of the tune you'll hear in the tune where it's kind of a down up up down up up down up down up 16th note strum pattern and what i mean by that is the, on the first beat you do a down on one and then an up on four so you're going one two three four one two three four one two three four down up down up down up and on the second beat you do a up on two down on three so kind of one two three four Up on two, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, up, one, up, up, one, up, up. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you got down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, that and we'll talk about kind of the, the, the real variation which is very challenging um, but you, you can kind of split the E minor and the C that way kind of E minor with the down up up and then the C with the down up up down up down up and then do your D with your whole pattern sounds like in the recording there is kind of taking the E minor with the down, 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 and then the C with the down, up, up, and then going to the D for the down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then kind of adding an extra down, up, down, up, up, up. So you have E minor down, 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 C down, up, up, D, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, C.
and we'll be repeating that uh, the seven times and then kind of going into this cool little little verse tag uh, where, where you kind of go to a you kind of hear this change in the bass actually kind of from the E minor to the C chord but then we go to the third fret on the low E string and then second fret on the low E string and then first fret on the low E string is kind of a little bass lead in into kind of our bridge part and you could back that up with chords on a G major chord when we play G major first finger goes to the A on the second fret second finger on the low E third fret and third finger on the high E third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B third pinky on the high E third kind of working that for the G major and that might make this change a little bit easier because it really becomes all about that bass change from the third fret on the low E G note to the second fret on the low E string it's kind of an F sharp note to the first fret on the low E string F note is kind of a lead in into our bridge. So it's kind of that G, two, one. And if you wanted to back that up with chords, you could start out with the G major. But then for, for the F sharp note, you may want to use something called D sus slash F sharp, where you do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. You can kind of work that for kind of your D slash F sharp, D sus slash F sharp. And then there's a really quick hit to that, that first fret on the low E string. And you could even just kind of take your first finger and move from second fret on the low E to first fret on the low E and kind of just follow just that bass note. Or, if you wanted to, you could kind of back that up with a really, really quick F major chord. And the way you play F major, normally you do this as a first fret bar, a second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the A, third, pinky on the D, third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really happy. Substitute for that if you're just starting out something called F major seven, where you do the first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, the third finger on the D string third fret, and if you strum all the, the kind of the D string to the high string, you'll get your clearest sound out of it. It's called F major seven. So that last time through, it's almost like you got kind of that E minor C G D slash F sharp F kind of kind of working the downs. Or if you wanted to work the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could do the G with the down, and then go to the D slash F sharp, down, up, up, and then hit the F for the last down, up. Kind of a cool option too. E minor, down, up, C, down, up, G, D slash F sharp, F. Or if you're doing the 16th, then what it really kind of feels like on that part is you do the E minor with the down, 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 up, C with the down, up, G for a down, up, up, D slash F sharp with a down, up, up, and then the, the, the F with kind of that down, down, up, down, up, E, and this is a little weird timing wise, E minor, down, down, C, down, up, up, G, up, up, D slash F sharp, up, up, D slash F sharp, where it really sounds like it's kind of that bass note too, actually, if, if that kind of helps to kind of follow it. On the G, you'd have kind of that low E bass, and then up, up, and D slash F sharp with a bass, up, up, and then the D, or the F, or the D slash F, D with an F in the bass, look with low E bass, and then a down, down, bass, up, up, bass, up, up, bass, down, up, down. So you got the E minor, down, down, C, up, up, D, up, up, D slash F sharp. Our main bridge starts on an A major chord. When we play A major, first finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, around the A in general, you may want to think about lifting off three, making that an A sus two, or you could add in the pinky on the B string third and kind of get an A sus sound out of that. And actually, there's some cool licks around that where you want to kind of take the first finger and go to the G string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret. It's kind of an A major nine, um, which can be kind of cool, kind of getting that, that seven into it. And you hear this cool little hammer on from, from the A major to the, from the first fret on the G to the second fret on the G. And 
then you'll kind of hear the A sus come in, but you may want to try it second finger, third, fourth finger, and you'll kind of hear some pull offs around that. Two, three. Strokes through that, you have kind of the A, 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 two, three, four, F, F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if you're doing your down, down, up, up, down, up, you could work it just kind of the A, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, up, up, down, A, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, F, down, down, up, down. Or if you're doing your 16th, you could have kind of that. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the D fourth. You may want to kind of fill that in with some extra down ups. Down up, down up, down up, up, down up, up, down up on that part if you're trying to kind of match the recording. So you have kind of that A. through the song and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass note for the chord so on the E minor you have low E for the bass on the C you have the A for the bass and on the D you have the D for the bass although on the D add four where you're on that C shape when you may want to kind of work the A string for the bass and on the A you'd have the A string for the bass on the F bar you'd have low E for the bass on the F major seven you have D for the bass and if you're kind of working that Sus slash F sharp, or actually G with the low E bass, D slash F sharp with the low E bass, or that D slash F, which is cool. Yeah, D with a kind of D sus with an F in the bass, which is kind of where I'm going with that. You may want to work that low E bass. So we could kind of work it as a bass down, up, up, down, up, and have you are the bass. Down C with an A bass, down up D with a D bass. Bases into that and have the E minor as a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. So try it that way. Yeah, the e minor, C, D. E minor, C, D. Or what, what you could kind of work 
counter, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down with basses. And <laughs> bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, bass, up. and the licks if you kind of do on that E mod. Too. You could work that A with bass, down, up, up, down, A with the bass, down, up. to our last chorus. Mouthful of cavities by Blind Melon. So, good luck! <laughs>